Hello my Sparks and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we just started our adventure and it's time to get going. Yeah, this is a tutorial, tutorial character, there's no point in talking to this guy. I'm not going to use dialogue. Yeah, this guy pretty much explains all the other tutorials. He's not, he was in the original game and he appears pretty much everywhere. We don't need him though. Now if we go left, we can now talk to wow. Dazzle. <laughs> now he has the Tag Effects, effects Y badge, which don't bother. Chill out, never succumb to a first strike, which is all right. Pretty lucky, which is actually also pretty good. Happy heart, happy heart P. Happy flower, pretty much explanatory. I am hog, make it likely herb items will appear after battle, which is also pretty good. Ooh, these are pretty much the same as item hog. Peekaboo, which is also pretty good. Quick change, which is amazing, and I'm honestly gonna try and buy that first and then peekaboo. Flower saver and flower saver P, also pretty good. Power plus, really powerful. Same with this. But you're going to struggle to be able to get enough of them. Sorry, sorry, I almost called him Dupree. That's why he's called him Duke of Mario, I believe. Hopefully, get into a fight. Just to show off the. Oh, we got Luigi! Luigi's a rare audience member! That's amazing! We actually got Luigi! Might as well just do this. Uh, to get all these members, you just keep being good at doing action commands. You can lose party mem lose all these members if you end up getting hit. Sometimes they don't leave, but it's not so it's not always guaranteed. You can also gain party audience members. I keep saying party members by doing some stylish. More audience, you gain more star stars to be able to build up your gauge. Bloop bloop! How much that hurt? Yeah, now we don't have a Luigi, sadly. Bloop, 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 bloop! Who just what? Just up and mic someone's tootsies like that! Bloop, bloop, bloop! Someone with some serious mocks, that's who! Bloop, 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 bloop! Would you look at that? It's some saucy guy with a mustache! Bloop, 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 bloop! He's in the world of hurt! Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle tra trample. Hey Mario, remember what Professor Franklin told us? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, press Y to put me in front. We'll jump. And we'll towel on the blooper. That's a blooper and a really humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I told these things like slimy nice icky things. G R O S S. Gross. Each max HP 12. Attack is one. Defense is zero. Attacks with tentacles and ink. When damage focus stands, I fall down and make sand attack. By the way, tentacles have three HP each. Now relax and make that secret out of that slimy nasty blooper. Bloop. Hey, mustache. Bloop 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 bloop! You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? I met it. Bloop bloop bloop! Bloop bloop! Yeah, you want to snipe in these tails, don't you? You're darn blooping! 
Blue ha! You can lose your gutless if you say it. If you say otherwise. Uh. Actually, can. Yeah, Goombell can use the Fire Flower. Power Spanish. Amazing stylish. Now bingo! Now let's see if we can get the right one. Depending on which what, what we get what we have on the bingo slots, we can get damaged if it's poison, healed if it's a regular mushroom. Star gets us max max the star gauge flowers, max the flower points, and shine sprites. Maxes out everything. As that was all the good effects rolled in one. Oh. The bloop! Well, here we are at the Petal Meadows, where folks say Christmas are highs. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. Start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. We hit the tree, we get a mushroom. And we get a star piece from the next tree. that. Never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go! Again. Always collect every item you can, because you never know when you're going to need it. And hit every tree. I will use sweet treats soon, don't worry, I'm, there's a reason why I'm not. Close call badge, that's also a really good badge.
No idea it's a protein. Okay, good we actually did end up spinning that wheel. Poison mushroom is not good. Yeah, after battle sometimes enemies can drop items like that flower. Yeah, it's just you better remind you press the L if you don't know where you're going. And these bushes also gives us potential items. First level up. And a bunch of people join in for, uh, for seeing us level up. We're going to level up BP first. Uh, yeah, we'll be only leveling up BP for a bit. Yeah, this will max out. This would usually max out our gauge, so. Something that is not, I don't believe they do in the original is that. Is actually that. Mystery. I mean, it could be good or it could be bad, and yeah. It is Pedalberg! Yeah, I know, everyone's done this job before. Look, Travis, where are you? You ask? Why, this is Pedalberg! Sorry, it's been a long time since we have had any business here. Yep, see, once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around in this area, what did it help tourism? Put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hook tail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hook tail. Ooh. Huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? Want a quest for them? It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Mm -hmm. Can't say I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really old. So, as such, he knows things, all kinds of things. Coopers of his age are. Um. Uh. Really smart? Anyway, the mirror lives in that pink house up ahead. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. And we do want to check inside the, the shop. Mushrooms are four. Honey steps five. Mr. Softener is eight. Power cell is 5, power block is 5, and fire flower is 8. Remember that! Also, if you need some, also I recommend if you are item mappy, buy some power blocks and don't use them. Until you find some replacements. Someone there? Who is it? Who, what do you want from me? I know your piece. It's a rob defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. I guess I have a little money. Take your fiends and, and my antique shield, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. I can't do without those memories. 
What? You're not fees, you say? Well, what's your story, Ben? Oh, wait. You're hosting for Christmas stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before you? It's just. Yo, well, why isn't you're just wasting time here? Because the stars just say you're hunting. Ah, uh, wait. What do I hear about those dying things again? Ah, uh -huh, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous ordinary dragon. East folks, they say. You know who Hooktail, right? Uh, in the original, they called Hooktail male because they didn't know if Hooktail was male or female, which... I mean... Personally, considering when we get to see Hooktail, uh, I think it's honestly obvious that Hooktail might either be female or... female or whatnot. But also... I think the voice might... I'll probably give it away, technically. But hey. Uh, I may have heard the name. Well, this hotel's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So you're... Are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes up to rough her up? Hold on now, we didn't say that. Oh, sounds promising. Well, if, why, if you can get rid of us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. What? Uh, what's that right here? You accept no reward? I didn't say that! What a Hunzo's man. You're noble. Indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what do you say your name was? Murphy, huh? That's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. The name is Mario. <laughs> I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intending going to Hooktail Castle, there's a find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Pedro Meadows. I know you need the sun and moonstone to use that pipe, but the stones are somewhere in Schwang Fortress. Just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and wallop that Hooktail mode. My name is not Murphy, you old Koopa. Some stone monsters are swamp towards the beds, or so we fear. The ski is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait, a moment. Please. Pardon for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. Just Coops. Nothing, nothing dark. Nothing uh more mineral-like, like carbon. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I uh, I have a favor to ask. You better not say anything. <laughs> That's bad. Um. Oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think is going on inside that guy's shell? Hopefully nothing about wanting to end father, fathers. Him. All. <laughs> Got a star piece. Which is why you want to bash every boot you see. Only once, though. Oh, now we've got Koopa Troopers! Jumping them. Oh, nice dog. Hey, Luigi's there! This is the second time! Second time Luigi's appeared on this game. In the audience, at least. But yeah, Cooper Troopers need to flip them over to build the damage, otherwise, they have a defense. And 
this is where the game starts tutorializing us, which didn't happen in the original. Look at the audience! I also got rid of a lot of our audience members. That guy's got rocked, there's no way he's, he isn't there for that, are you? You get rid of the right audience by amping, and not just emotionally, a quick stop before you force that rock. Try pressing X. Sadly, you don't have the high pitched girl scream. Nice, later you realize troublemaker. So now I'm press X to inject any audience member who plays like their holding things. Oh, but there might actually be fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Okay, Mario, now try attacking with your hammer. I don't know why. Yeah. And some things you can't even see are above that if you use a hammer sometimes to shoot down. Press A. It's just all about timing and figuring out what the timing is. Like, straight after the hammer hits and you land after the back, the first stylish backflip is the stylish command for this. Someone's still saying some kind of statue. What if you give it a good whack for your hammer? We didn't do any damage. Ooh. Isn't that interesting? What a switch? This is one of the few enemies that we actually have to tackle. There's a ball cleft. Basically a rock monster of a shiny. Trouble cranky face. Uh, this can't mean, but both guys are just really don't. They aren't good for me. HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 2. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt. Maybe best attack is stable with a power walk. And yeah, this is our pretty much forced introduction into using items for battle. Thankfully, the game compensates you with 10 star points. But we don't get any coins, which is the bad thing about this fight, specifically. Most of them are just Goombas. Oh, all of them are Goombas.
Okay, now we're going to have to take out the Paragon with the Mushroom. We don't want to hit these guys because if we try and use the hammer on them, we're going to get spiked. So instead, we're going to tell these guys. The Professor Press is totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Yeah, pretty much the same. So here's our power block. He was super guarded, but I didn't want to risk it. Didn't want to lose all these members by getting hit. This fight just will let you keep no injuries. I mean, we could see if we can try and get the mushroom. Yes, we did! Bingo! It's not the best, but hey, we maxed out the audience, I believe. is actually 50. That heart block's not going to be useful. Mm, mm, oh, oh, ah. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstone, and if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate, and by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> Ooh, ha, ha. So what do you want to do? I'll take you on! <laughs> oh, ha, ha. You're ready for it now! Hey, hey, hey! 
is that time again. Welcome everyone to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win, but get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now for the first question, what's hidden in Swamp Fortress? The sun and moon stones are what it is. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here, much harder. So prepare yourselves. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, I say 12. Oh, I remembered, yes! That's good. Ah, that's correct. Question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here, much harder. Kroop is his name. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth answer right. That can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Are you ready for the dialogue? Question five. How can you get? How can one get from Roquefort to Pale Meadows? Go for a pipe. No! Oh, that's... That's right. You guys answer my questions. I don't believe it. You win. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I'll let you through stupid rules. The multi balance badge is actually kind of useful here. Because we got a new enemy, Fuzzy! This is the least amount of fuzzies I've usually, I usually see. I'm actually gonna find that guy using. Oh no, really? Oh, we're gonna have to just. Poison. Because if it did, we would have lost a lot of the crowd. We do want to just defeat every fuzzy. For more for reasons. Okay, now there's three. There we go. There's the guard coming. Oh my god, why are there poison mushrooms coming back? But yeah, the reason why main reason why is for star points. On the corner, first click this.
Uh, oh no, 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 we're not dealing with that. Uh, That, that thing is actually kind of dangerous, or concerning me. <laughs> 202 coins, oh god. You might be able to get some rare stuff. We pretty much want to try and hit, try and get as much PP as we can. Mushroom. Okay, we still have one more firepower this later. Work. Hey, you suspicious type. This is our place, and coming here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Can't flee this fight. So let's just jump normally. Tattle. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, this is a super rare. It's serious. Wow. Max HP is 10. HP is 10. Attack is 1. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice, which is funny considering what he said. I have to wonder, what how does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. Everyone, get up! Tap the fuzzy horde because this is literally the only time we'll see this guy.
stop you from using the hammer. Zero damage. I tried to just super guard, but uh. No matter what you do, you'll get points for it for the fuzzy board, so don't worry. You're, you got me! Yeah, and don't leave anything behind. Sounds like your email, Mario. Yes, yes, yes. Now we can basically just ignore these guys as we beat them once. They're running around always taking on every enemy you see on the way to places. But if you've already beaten the air beaten the places, then don't worry. Wait. Uh. Okay, so that's what that's. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what that was, <laughs> even though I just played this game. Literally yesterday, because okay, so I might as well explain. The past two, these two episodes are being recorded the day after they're the game release, so yeah. Um, excuse me. It's it's Mario, right? Look, I um. See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in hope of getting to speak with you. You better not be saying a bad word, Carmen. I mean, Coops. I mean, you two look so alike. The only difference is your personalities. Um, see, I was wondering... Would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooptail, please! I'm begging you! Sorry about that. See, my dad... He went off to battle Hooptail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. At least you're not wanting to end him. Him. All. Yes, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of Book of Mario references with some of these guys. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is part of it, I guess. A big part. But Rufus, I want to finish what my dad started for his sake. For everyone's sake. Oh, yeah. I, man, this is embarrassing. See, everybody, everyone says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. Be strong, like my dad. You know, it'll be dangerous, but still, I'm not to go. Please, Mario. You can refuse, but you need him, so let's just say sure, come along. Real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Unlike with Carbon, who, who tells you, you will regret it. Coops has joined your party. Um, yeah, this is a tutorial for his 
outside of battle abilities, and honestly, they're pretty good. Master them. Yeah. Okay, Mara, let's get going. Coops. Oh. Oh golly. Um. Hi. Uh, hi, Koopy. Koopiko. Uh, did you overhear all that? Well, part of it. Coops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up! I know, Koopiko, but I want to be tougher. For you. No, Coops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a cry baby? I don't care about that, all that. I just want you to be you, so don't. Go. Sorry, I've made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling with Mario and... Fine! Ignore me! Stop running, Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopa Koo. I swear, I'll come back to you, a strong Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Okay. Oh yeah, he's just telling us about the fact that you can switch part partners while going to the party menu. Oh my god. At least we get a show off Coops in Battle, I guess? Oh, doubly so we do, but we're doing that. So, we can't show off Power Shell. Power Shell, we'd hit all of them and take them out. But it's pretty much just Shell Toss, but... Pretty much it's everyone. Koops is a bit different from Goombella. Goombella. Goombella doesn't have a defense point, but Koops does, so it makes him being able to tank stuff, which is actually pretty nifty. Usually, you'll usually see, probably see me have Koops out, pretty much, for a bit, because, yeah. What he has is useful. Sadly, I haven't been getting lucky like my personal playthrough where I've not gotten a Luigi, but I've gotten a lot of badges from the enemies. A lot of enemies had badges and kept dropping them. It was really fun. And while we're meant to read this, uh, read this, it's pretty much saying hit these two at the same time. So, guess what? Place Coops, jump, let go. Now before we end off, end off, because we are entering a dungeon and I think it would be best to end off here. Well let's quickly do one quick thing that... Hooktail Castle. At the very beginning of Hooktail Castle, but we'll see. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true, this place is terrifying. I'll buck up, Coops. Because we need you to get this! HP plus badge. Yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to do before we did anything.
Uh, yeah, we'll save right now. So, next time, we'll be pretty much jumping up here and then traversing Hooktail Castle. See you guys then. Xeno and Zuma, signing out, my sparks.